I'm going to be running the Felder Profile 45. It's a 4 mat 4 model at 6,000 RPM today. I had cut some of these walnut raised panels with this profiling head yesterday and I had the camera too close to the foot of the machine ended up cutting both profiles for two of these panels and came to pass that I had so much vibration so I'm running another panel today of red oak which is a slightly larger trim size but it will still show us what is involved here. Uh, as I say we're running this profile 45 at 6000 RPM. Um, this is a 220 millimeter uh, profiling head. Now there are two different profiles. On the top we have a, an OG profile and on the bottom side which is where I'm going to be using it today is a different silhouette. So I'll try to show you here this being the let me back this thing off this being the OG profile which is on the top part of the disc now and this being the profile that we're going to go for much simpler with a slight taper after the uh, uh, raised plateau that you see here so those are the two different samples on red oak now this these raised panels of the two doors here are approximately four tenths of an inch total thickness and they might look a little taller in this lighting but they're relatively thin so I've ended up with about four and a half millimeters where the edge of the profile is uh, seated into the groove of a rail and style door now on this particular door I'm going to be running a for the red oak and the previous walnut I'm going to be running a, a bridle joint that's in the corner and hopefully you can see what that is this one is loose so it's flopping around a bit so this is at 6000 rpm 30 millimeter spindle and uh, these are carbide insert knives that I bought this particular profiling tool from Felder. I think it only fits the 30 millimeter spindle, that's about all I have to offer. But it's convenient because each of the knives has uh, a different, uh, two different faces on it, so if you happen to hit something that puts a chip in these knives you can loosen up two uh, five millimeter or six millimeter screws in there and flip this knife on around and you'll have a sharp edge to begin with again uh, I'm going to put my earplugs in so I can't hear myself we can move you in a little closer I don't know what really the best angle for this is maybe this will get it so here we go
So there you have it. There's our profile. I hope you can see that. So we're ending up with right around five and a half millimeters for where this part fits in the groove. So we have the profile with a, a radius and then a sloping shoulder on down and then about oh, 20 millimeters from the end there's a flattening out where the lip section right here of the profile is flat. Now you can make it less than the 60, right at 60 millimeter total cutting length that I have here but that would not give you a flat edge that sits comfortably in the groove and the rail and style of these doors. Um, now this particular model I have the Egner brand of fence on here. See if we can get you in there and see that. And this this particular model has uh, a safety feature where you can swing these on around. I, I've had this out of the way because I'm wanting you to be able to see more of what we're doing. On this other side here, of course it's very important to have this fence parallel with this one. And on this left side because uh, let me back up here. The, the right side has uh, a member down here at the table level on the cast iron that keeps thinner slice, uh, pieces of wood from going under the fence. The left side being where the bar swings around and just the way it's made, I have a filler piece in here. And there are two little Allen wrenches that will allow us to adjust this filler piece out. You see the both holes there. So I can put an Allen wrench in either of these holes and back this filler piece in or out in order to get it lined up with this rest of the fence and uh, uh, all together with the other side. Now this other adjustment up here that I'm turning with my hand now, this is tightened down. There are two additional larger Allen screws in the this filler fixture that are affected when you tighten this clamping action of the fence down to the cast iron table. There's holes drilled in the uh, table uh, as that shaft goes on through for maybe a half an inch. And these two larger Allen screws help me to lift the filler piece up. Oh, there it is. You can see them. So this fits in a groove inside the lower run of the fence. So then when you tighten that down, hmm, it keeps it from moving around and that's uh, quite a, an issue of safety. You don't want that to vibrate into the spinning profile head or it could be disaster. So I just wanted to explain that to you. So thanks for listening. Bye-bye.